Hello and good evening everyone. Today is day number two, December 22nd, 2021. And I'm going to continue talking about revival. So we all know what revival is. Revival is um, something that happens in our heart, in our home. So uh, revival does not start out in a church gathering or anything like that. It starts in the heart, right here in our home. Um, right here in our prayer closet. So revival brings on spiritual awakening. Okay, Sp spiritual awakening. And we all need spiritual awakening, especially in the day and time uh, that we're living. So we want spiritual awakening. And in order to get that spiritual awakening, um, that supernatural spiritual awakening, we need to be uh, lost in our prayer life. We need to lock ourselves up in our, our prayer closet and pray, pray like we've never prayed before we have to examine ourselves daily examine ourselves examine our heart because um we don't want to be in a state of our heart to be in a state of of um bitterness anger depression um sadness filled with anxiety we don't want that so we have to examine ourselves and know where we are um, make sure that we're not sinning and doing things that we shouldn't be doing so daily we need to examine ourselves examine ourselves daily repent from our sins repent from all that we do because we are not perfect so you know that um, there's going to be times when we're going to have to repent maybe more than once uh, maybe um, more for others than you know for others but it's okay repent don't feel bad about it repent repent in order to receive that revival to get that revival in your heart we have to repent we also have to uh, pray kingdom focused prayers yes kingdom focused prayers so let's start praying uh, kingdom focused prayers which means basically you know whatever is the will for of, of god for our lives for our families lives for this world you know for this nation for the church we have to pray those type of prayers and again repent we have to pray for others we have to um, um pray for as many as we can and believe and let me say, let me say something about prayer for those who are afraid to pray we have to learn how to open up our mouths and allow the holy spirit to guide us because i went through that for so many years and i can still suffer from that sometimes i can still get so nervous when someone asks me to pray but it's something that we just have got to uh, move forward and just do it. Do it. Don't be afraid. For all those women out there that are saying, or men, I don't know because I've known men who, who go through it themselves. Um, I don't know how to pray. We all know how to pray. We just have to lose the fear of doing what the Lord wants us to do in front of other people. Uh, we also um, have to witness, witness to, to the lost. Witness to the lost. Can you imagine? I mean, we can't save anyone, but we can witness to them and we can plant that seed. We can plant that seed. So have you been witnessing to others? Uh, have you been praying kingdom focused prayers? Have you been repenting? Have we been examining ourselves? You know, we want a spiritual awakening and we want revival. But we have to examine ourselves because we want all of this without doing what we need to do. And what we need to do is pray, read the word, study the word, even memorize scripture, witness to others. And again, pray, read the word. This is a daily thing. And I know that I sound like a broken record in all of my videos, but it's, it is the truth. It is what it is. And I will continue repeating it for as long as the Lord asks me to. I will continue doing my videos and repeating myself because it's all about examining ourselves. It's all about um, running into our prayer closet and praying and, and worshiping the Lord. And, and, and that's how we, we receive revival. Okay, that's how we receive revival and spiritual awakening. Do we want spiritual awakening? I know I do. I know I do, and I, I don't just want it now for the end of 2021. I want it for 2022 and for the rest of my life, for as long as I have breath in me. I want revival. I want spiritual spiritual awakening. I want to hear the still, small voice of the Holy Spirit, just like we all do. We all do. So I'm not the only one that wants to do it. So, uh, one, if you want spiritual awakening, examine yourself completely and repent of your sin examine yourself and make sure 
that you are in the right state of mind. Make sure that you are not in sin. Make sure that you are not um, doing anything that you shouldn't be doing. But always remember this, no matter where you are in life, no matter where you are, the Lord loves you. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. So just always remember that he won't leave you. We're the ones that run away from him. Uh, pray kingdom focused prayers. Okay, just start praying uh, for for what is the will. And the only way that we find out what God's will is for us, for our marriages, for this world, for his church, is by reading the word of God. Reading the word of God. So I just want to say God bless you. I hope this has encouraged someone. I hope you enjoy my clip, my um, devotionals. And I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best to do one every single day from here to January 1st. I started yesterday. I hope if you watched it, you enjoyed it. Go ahead and view it on YouTube and help me to reach my goal on YouTube. Okay, well, God bless y'all. I hope y'all support a sister and um, enjoy your